What's up YouTube, Mr. Lime SC here, and today we're going to be doing a Blizzard Sorceress Guide. This is probably one of my most played characters overall, absolutely love it. Um, so I'll be talking through the skills, the stats, the gear, the mercenary, everything you need to get yourself prepped to play this character in D2R. Now, this is probably an S-tier build, um, simply because it just has so much uh, damage and help to a team and everything for very little gear. It does not require a lot for this character to really be going. Uh, so I put it definitely up in the S tier build category. No bias. Um, anyways, let's start out with the Sorceress overall. Here you can see her starting stats, her life and mana per energy. She has the highest mana per energy point spent and her life and mana gain uh, per character level. You can see that her life gain is pretty bad, so she is very fragile. That's the only thing I'll say about the Sorceress, is she is very fragile, um, and you need to be super careful. She does have decent frames. You can see those in the bottom right there. But yeah, overall the character uh, can be a little weak, so if you're not experienced, if you, if you don't feel comfortable with the keys, Sorceress can be a little bit of a glass cannon there, and you need to be careful with that. Um, moving forward... We have the skill build. This is not... There we go. Uh, we have the skill build for the Blizzard Sorceress. What my final build looks like for this. Now, you don't really need to actually max out Cold Mastery completely uh, when you get super late game because you're going to have enough skill points overall that you'll be able to break um, or drop the immunities uh, maximum with you know, like 26 total points in Cold Mastery, or even less than that probably is more than enough. But if you're playing PvP at all, having it maxed out is going to be very good for um, fighting off with other people. Um, so you will want it in that case if you're going to do that. And hey, where else are you going to spend the points, right? So I like to have just the standard, one static, one telekinesis, one teleport, one in warmth, one in frozen armor. This is my favorite armor. And then just maxing out all the Blizzard synergies, and cold mastery right there pretty standard pretty simple build overall to follow now how do we get to there is the question right the leveling portion is what a lot of people always want to know about i would not recommend leveling with cold damage it is possible um, you can just play through you know get your ice bolts and then get your ice blast and just work your ice blast up then do some glacial spike damage and then at 24 jump into blizzard very much possible not going to be as fast though not going to be as fun usually a little bit ugh, you know tedious now if you're playing with the party you could do that because you get glacial spike help freeze everything and let them kill it but it's much faster to level with charge bolt into nova or straight up just the fire tree is very good for leveling you just mass put points into Firebolt. When you get to level 12, you just mass put points into Fireball, and then you'll hit level 24, and then you can respec. Easy as that. Obviously, you're going to get Teleport at level 18 in every single build, and one point into Static, so you can kind of put those in where you would like. Um, but really up to you. But yeah, for Cold, if you don't want to do any of that stuff, you can um, just spec up this way through the Cold Tree, and then when you hit 24, just mass spam Blizzard, and then Cold Mastery actually does add a lot of damage early on. So any additional points that you get, you can put them into Cold Mastery there. Um, at least some decent points in it, right? But then you max out Blizzard. Then you can max out Glacial Spike or Ice Blast, whichever one you prefer. And then once you get these guys maxed out, then of course you'll max out your Ice Bolt after all of that, right? So really just a, a simple character. And like I say, have your 1-1-1 one, one, one there. You're one there, you're one point in frozen armor, and uh, yeah, you're good to go. I mean, it's very, very simple, fun, um, good character there for good deal dealing some damage. In terms of stats, you're going to go enough stat points uh, for, for your gear, for strength, dexterity, and everything else in vitality. You can run points into energy, and when I'm leveling, I actually like to get up to like 50 to 60 energy, maybe 70 energy even. Uh, ah, maybe one less. Um, so, you know, I like to go up into a, an okay amount of energy because it really helps with your teleporting around. You will be using a lot of mana on this build. And remember, you get good mana per energy point spent on this character. So that's really nice for the character overall. Um, but... Eventually, when you do get to the high end and you're fully built out, strength, 
dexterity, just for gear, no energy, and just enough points, uh, or everything else is going to be into vitality right there. So you'll just move on that. Um, remember when you are statting up though, you're going to have your uh, torch and you're going to have your annihilus so that you can, let me grab these. And then whatever other stuff that's going to give you strength and stats for your gear. So remember that when you're building it out because you want to make sure that you have, um, that you're not like over putting strength. Because hey, what if you're wearing Enigma? That gives you a ton of strength. So you actually can have way less strength, just enough to wear the Enigma, right? Things like that. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and I'm just going to put some points into strength here. Just temporarily to put gear on. Once again, don't stat it like that. Um, this is just because I'm not doing like all the time to calculate out how much I need for everything right there. And I'm just going to build a uh, quick character. You'll want 156 strength for your spirit. That's going to be kind of where you're um, aiming for. Where's that other spirit? That's sanctuary. One sec, let me grab another spirit really fast from... You have one. Okay. Um, so we can just go here and grab this other spirit, put that for the CTA, you know, pretty standard right there. Uh, and this is gonna be a lot of your standard nice gear that you're gonna have on a lot of the characters here. Um, and you can kind of mix and match how you would like things uh, to be if you want for a little bit of different uh, pieces to it, right? So this is all kind of, I'm gonna show you like my favorite ideal kind of build for the character and then um, show you some alternatives of course and stuff like that. Don't need that one. Let's grab this one. So this right here I would say is a pretty standard blizzard sorceress build um, it's not getting into like j mods and crazy things like that uh, you're gonna have a death fathom which is fantastic night wings add cold skill and some some skills plus the skills here or cold damage excuse me coh with the plus skills great resistances spirit has great res and skills and fcr and all that's just beautiful um you've got your trangs gloves for fcr and cold res then you can get uh plus to skills rings here also, if you need more FCR, you can always just get a 10 FCR ring like this, right? Get it with like some life and mana and things like that. Um, Arachnid Mesh and Sandstorm Trex. These are just going to be fantastic. And you can see I can, you know, this is how I could like stat the character right there. Because you're going to want as many points and vitality as you can because you really need life for this character. Um, so it just depends on your FCR needs if you need more of this or not. Um, but this right here is the very standard Blizzard Sorceress. Has very good damage overall um, and is just going to be you know, able to teleport pretty quickly and just do super well. Now, with all that being said, what if you want to do like magic finding on this character? There's a few ways that you can change this up. First, if you really want, you can trade out the Death Fathom for like an Oculus for the MF there with an Estruin in it even. Uh, I still think Death Fathom is worth it for how much damage it provides, but this is technically an option that you can make for that swap. Um, additionally, the three-piece Tal set is a classic set. Um, for getting a lot of magic find you can see you have the magic find from the belt you get the additional magic find right there you get big magic find from the armor as well um, and then I've put a topaz in there and so overall the set is very nice very good for that you can also swap out the nightwing for a shako um, and I would say and then war traps for these boots uh, it's actually very very nice for this character, you can stack up massive amounts of magic find. This is already almost 300%. I don't even have Nagel Ring on yet. Um, so where's that guy? Let me grab that. So this is already over 300 magic find, um, and it's not even maxed out. We don't have any charms with any of it. Uh, generally, I'm not going to be swapping out the gloves for... Um, because I need the FCR still, right? So this is like 20% FCR, 30%, 40%, 50, 60, 70. Pretend this is 75. 
85, 95, and then with this FCR ring, it's 105. So that's a great way to get the 105 breakpoint um, while still being able to have massive amounts of magic find. When I had this character fully stacked with magic find, I think she had like 600 and something magic find. And then if I went even further and went down a breakpoint, I had her up at like 872 magic find or something. Um, so you could really just go crazy with it if you really wanted to. Uh, so yeah, that's a great way to have that. And then of course your CTA and spirit on your swap. Um, now, assuming that you aren't super rich or you're starting this character out, what are some items that you can get in the meantime for the character? Well, one spirit sword is amazing. Skills, FCR, vitality, mana. I mean, it's, it's just like so good. Um, definitely recommended. Spectral Shard is also super good, getting that 50 FCR, 10 all res. Um, Suicide Branch is a fantastic weapon to pick up. Even that, like I said, that Oculus before is nice. And even just like 20 FCR to really start out, like super early, getting just plus to FCR wands and things can be nice for this character. Uh, moving on, Stealth. You can use this armor for such a long time. It's so good on this character. Highly recommended. The FCR on it is fantastic, and you'll crave that and highly desire it early. Smoke is nice for big resistances and some hit recovery right there. Um, Scolders is really good for big MF if you're looking to magic find super early on. Get a little plus skills. But both this, uh, Skin of the Viper Magi and Q Hagen's, you get the one skill, the FCR. Um, this gives energy and map per kill. This one gives big resistances. These are fantastic not too expensive and just going to be really really solid armors for the character um, belt wise night smoke would be a decent one gold wrap for some magic find early um, you could you know maybe try like a verdungos or something if you get it later for big vitality and whatnot but what i really love is just a big plated belt additionally if you have if you don't have a rack and things like that snow clash is actually pretty nice let me go to my belt section really fast Snow Clash is actually nice. You get plus two to Blizzard on it. So, you know, not bad. Get some Cold Absorb, max Cold Res. Not a terrible item uh, if you got nothing else kind of in that position right there. Um, shields, Ancient's Pledge, Act 5, Quest 2, Barbarians. Once you save them, you get these three runes. Pop them in a large shield. Get enough strength for 34 strength to wear this. You're going to love it. It's going to be a big boost to resistances. Help you with late night, late uh, normal and all through nightmare. And honestly, you can wear it to hell if you'd really like. Um, Rhyme is also good. It has some magic find on it. But it does have less uh, resistances. So I prefer Agent's Pledge over Rhyme. And if you get Coco Mal, you could make a Sanctuary. It doesn't have to be, obviously, not in this Paladin shield. But this is a great way to get some early resistances as well. Um, or even just something simple like a Moser's, right? Just big res, throw some diamonds in it, nice and easy. For helmets, uh, Tier Tier in a helm is good, mana per kill. We are going to be using a lot of mana, and so getting mana back is very helpful. Um, a Lore Helm is one of my favorite helms on these characters, because you get skills, you get res, you get mana per kill, you get energy. All of those are like A tier, S tier stats on this character for sure. If you just need massive resistances... Just give yourself massive resistances. Otherwise, if you can afford it, you know, go for a little plus to skills with some res, plus to skills right here, plus to skills with some magic finding. Or Rock Stopper is one of my favorite early game helms. Um, it just has so much res, hit recovery, DR, Vita, all the good stuff. Moving into some gloves. Um, Mage Fist are obviously another alternative. I think I've just got them like right here. So Mage Fist or Trangs are going to be the two that you really want because you get the 20 FCR. But Frost Burns are also okay for just more mana. Blood Fist and Sanders are okay because you get plus to life. And remember, life is very important for this character. And Chanseys, hey, you get more magic find. That's always nice. In terms of boots, Hisaris boots are great. Water walks are great. Once again, big life there. Infernos aren't bad. Natalia's, you get run walk and dual res. Alders are a fantastic boot. Big life, faster run walk, big resistances. Some damage taken goes to mana even, which is helpful here. Um, or you can just shop some big boots with resistances, right? Lots of boots are going to be good for this character, good for a lot of characters. It's super, super nice. Um, in terms of a mercenary, I would definitely recommend... Uh, on this character, I actually prefer a Might Mercenary. So you go to Nightmare Act 2. 
and you can go up here and let me do that and that and just hire a defensive <clears throat> excuse me uh who do we want chalen or his aid let's go with his aid um and so you can get a defensive mercenary uh oh sorry defensive is going to be a uh, holy freeze which is an option like i was saying though i actually prefer an offensive mercenary we'll get uh wahid because it's going to have the might since i already do cold damage i don't feel as necessary that i need holy freeze so i like to get the might aura to boost his damage it won't do anything for me but it will boost his damage up which is really nice then for him i like to give him a uh, eth fortitude i like to give him an insight or a reaper's toll generally um infinity can be nice but the problem is i already have cold mastery and so the cold mastery is going to be dropping the resistances enough that this doesn't really do do much for the character so instead i'd rather have like an insight or reaper's toll something to slow whatever it is um so that he can have more of his own damage and then he can give me some mana back right which we said is very important uh other options there treachery is super great for a mercenary um you could also give him the shaft stop. You could make him his own smoke or something. For helmets, Crown of Thieves, Talrosh's Crest, uh, Vamp Gaze is super nice. And then, you know, Reaper's Toll, Obedience, Honor, um, Tomb Reaver, Bone Hue. You know, just there's a lot of different, uh, you know, Kelpie Snare. There's a lot of different things that you can get that you can give to your mercenary. That'll be pretty nice. You just want like a lot of damage, get some life steal, get some things like that. Um, overall, definitely one of my favorite characters. Uh, like I said, this is probably my top played character in the game. Um, and it's just, you can just go all around and farm a lot of stuff. And she moves pretty well. She's pretty good with killing. Um, and the nice thing is you can really keep your, keep your space on monsters. So that really, like, helps out overall for her, right? Kind of teleport, keep your spacing, and let your mercenary and everything kind of get in the way. Uh, very big killer, very good early game, and like I say, really helpful for a team as well, as you are going to be adding in that additional um, cold damage, which is going to be really helpful there. So, yeah, with that being said, I hope that this guide was helpful. I hope that you learned a few things, that you feel more comfortable making a sorceress, a blizzard source specifically. And yeah, I'd love to hear your comments and everything down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace, YouTube.